Hey, Chris Lipe here. In this video, we are working on how to sing aggressively, screaming, shouting, adding distortion to our voice without trashing our voice. So we can come alive! Yeah. So we can come alive! So we can come alive! So we can come alive! And all of the problems that come about when someone's trying to figure out how to sing in these ways really stem from one issue. We are looking out at someone we like, a vocal sound that we like, who is singing intensely, and we're making assumptions about how things should feel in our own voice without really knowing anything based on what we hear them doing. Those assumptions are almost always wrong. So I'm going to completely break down how I figured out how to sing aggressively both with pitch and without pitch. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step look into what I've done. So you don't have to make any assumptions. You can try and experiment with each one on your own. Before we get started, I just have to say this. If you don't already have a foundational understanding about how your support muscles are supposed to work with regular old singing, these things are gonna be pretty difficult for you. I'm likely gonna be mentioning things that you may not already be comfortable with and that you need to be comfortable with in order to take your singing to the level that I'm demonstrating in this video. If you do want to explore what your voice can do, in either preparation for these types of techniques or just because it's fun, be sure to click the link below and join my free singing course. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make a lot of goofy noises. You should too. This is a process of self-discovery for you, for anybody watching these videos. If you're not willing to make stupid noises and make a fool of yourself, you are not gonna be able to do this. So that's rule number one. The first thing we wanna do is become intimately aware of how our break works. Stay with me, this is important. The break. Right? I am low, I'm in my chest resonance. I'm high. I'm in my falsetto or my head resonance. We want to accentuate the transition and make it as blatant as possible. You've heard yodelers do this. That crack that you hear is gonna be key to our aggressive vocals. So, just like I'm doing, make some noise. Don't make some pitches, make some noise, and see how drastic you can make that break sound. Do it in different parts of your voice. Start super low like I just did. And try to make that sound. Now go high. Tarzan, right? This is good stuff. Now before we go any further, I want to share with you what aggressive vocals will not include. It will not include Cookie Monster. No, it won't. That hurts my voice to do it for even 10 seconds. It will not include that. It will not include the intentional tightening of our neck or the just singing louder and louder and louder until we until our voice breaks up. Those both are recipes for vocal fatigue and injury. So we're not gonna be doing that. Okay, so back to the vocal break and being keenly aware of how that feels with different volume levels I'm gonna push real hard. And I'm gonna be soft, and I'm gonna be keenly aware of my vocal break. Okay? The next thing I want to uh, dive into and experiment with is my vocal fry. And 
Fry. That's vocal fry. You can discover that when you go as low as possible and your voice starts to break up and it starts to... Uh, it doesn't hurt. You could do this forever. It's actually kind of good for your voice. It's really annoying when you're listening to podcasts and a, uh, a guy who's delivering the podcast talks in vocal fry for a long time. It can kind of drive you crazy. It's driving me crazy listening to myself. But if you can get to the point where you can talk in vocal fry and even enter a note with vocal fry, uh, 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 what you're doing is you're familiarizing yourself with that feel of that broken voice. Both of these things, that transitional break thing and this fry, they have uh, hints of what it sounds like to really break up your voice, right? So we've got fry, we've got break. Now, you've heard some vocalists do things like this. Maybe when they're when they're singing or something at the end of a phrase. Maybe not. Maybe you haven't. But I, I think I have. I've heard people just dwell on fry alone. And that can be, having a command over vocal fry and singing is, is really helpful, but that's not really the whole of the sound we're going for. We want to be able to sing energetically and loud, so we have to combine this idea of broken voice, vocal fry, with the idea of this break, which is also a broken up part of our voice. It's this unstable nature that we're going to harness and live in the middle of that while we use just the right pressure from our support muscles. That's how we're going to accomplish the sound. So I'm going to make some more weird noises here, and I'd encourage you to do the same either while you're watching the video or after you watch the video. Take this stuff to heart. Here are the noises. What I'm doing there, notice I'm not in my very lowest area of my voice, but I am joining together this idea of fry. I'm getting to my, that, that area where I'm going to break. And then I'm creating that fry sound right on that break. And I'm, I'm letting it go over and under and... You can hear more and more. As I start, add, once I find that little break point and then add fry to it, uh, but I'm doing it not at the bottom of my range, as I start adding pressure down here, it starts to become more consistently broken up. Ah, there it is, right? I'm not actually singing that loud. Or well, Let's not call that singing yet. Ah, I could do that all day long. That doesn't hurt my voice at all. And you can hear it because I can speak again. If I had really hurt my voice, there'd be this, I'd be, I'd be out of it. So we're adding just the right pressure as we experiment with the, the balance between our vocal break going in between these uh, registers and then that sensation of vocal fry. Vocal fry doesn't just have to happen at the very bottom of your register. It doesn't. Okay, so we're making noises that are starting to resemble that broken up voice. <laughs> but we're not really aiming for a pitch. Here's where we bring pitch into the game. Let's choose a pitch. Let's. Ah, oh, it was pretty close to that one. La 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 la. We're going to make that our target note, and we're going to experiment with, again, push, falsetto, playing with that break, and then inserting vocal fry. Okay? I'm going to do it real slow so you can hear the transition of what I'm doing. Huh? <laughs> You, you are hear, you're hearing less and less pitch as I push more and more, but you still hear the pitch. Now, if you want to eliminate the pitch altogether, you can uh, push a little bit more 
and think accentuate vocal fry as opposed to think accentuate your falsetto. That's how I think about it. If and I'll, I'll demonstrate both. We've gotten rid of a lot of pitch, and you heard the cracking in there as I was dialing in that sound. Now, and you, when you see me push, also. Nothing's really changing here other than my face might be getting red. I am pushing a lot from my support muscles. I'm not just getting louder for the sake of getting louder. I'm finding that vulnerability between in my break, inserting the vocal fry, and then I am pushing so that it starts to break up, but not more than that. If you start to do more, then you are wasting energy and you will start to fatigue your voice. So it's about living in that transitional period and only giving just enough that you need to make it happen. Here's the same thing demonstrated with uh, pitch. Ah! Pure note. little bit more. There's a little bit of distortion there. Ah! You hear me breaking and cracking and all that. Ah! Oftentimes singing aggressively with distortion while pursuing pitch can be more difficult than the no pitch game that we, that we were looking at earlier but both are come about the same way. It's just how you balance those things. Now I've got a backing track pulled up and I'm gonna sing the simple phrase, so we can come alive over this track. And now that you've heard me make these noises and explain how to start getting there, how to start singing aggressively, both with pitch and without pitch, I'm gonna sing over this a bunch of different ways with this backing track so that you can hear how it sounds in a bit of context. Keep all the things that we've talked about in mind. Uh, as I vary my intensity, as I vary the amount of grit, as I vary the amount of pitch, uh, you're gonna have a little bit more of a mind for understanding how those things are happening. It's not Cookie Monster. It's not sheer force. It's strategy and it's walking that line. It's finding where that break is milking that break transition, inserting vocal fry, and then pushing just enough to get the, to, to remain teetering in that transitional area. So we can come alive! So we can come alive! So we can come alive! You start to get a sense for, as you hear me crack, you hear little bits that actually sound kind of cool. So we can come alive! 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 Yeah! So there I picked, yeah, which is a C. I was doing A, and I, yeah, I'm doing it all fast, but so we can And then finding right where that break happens, and then pushing, 
It's right when you find that break. And you, you'll learn over time to hold it in that area, to hold it. Even if you're not uh, centered around a particular pitch, you're still sort of thinking a pitch. Oh, oh, oh. So we can come alive! Yeah, so we can come alive! Here we are with some less just screams and more pitch-oriented distortion. So we can come alive! So we can come alive! So we can come alive! You can still hear that pitch. Yeah, so we can come alive. Being able to come out of that and then uh, use normal pitches is a great way to sort of ground those sounds. You don't always want to sound all gritty. You want to sound gritty sometimes, and you want to sound smooth other times. Come alive. These lessons are so fun to make. I hope you're enjoying them. Again, if you want to take your voice to the next level, be sure to join my free singing course below. Uh, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe and you'll get more. And be sure to leave comments letting me know other things you'd like to discover about your voice. I'd be glad to help you out. We'll see you for more.